Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joni Young. If you're new here, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to paint this tropical sunset using crimson red, light ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue, as well as white and neon pink. Listed below in the description are all the colors and brushes we'll be using today, as well as some links to more tutorials and a few other things. So let's get started right away with a large flat brush and that red. With a little water on my brush, I'm gonna begin pulling a line in for the horizon and pulling back and forth, nice long strokes with your brush. Making it the darkest right there in the middle. Now I'm gonna squeeze out some of my neon pink. You can use any neon pink that you have on hand. Um, I really like Whole Bean. Um, this is just another brand I thought I would try and I'm liking it very very much. It's mixing quite well in with this crimson red so I'm using quite a bit of paint. Now right here I'm going to start scooping and pulling my brush up on either side giving it that really neat swept up look and I love a sweeping sky especially over the ocean with palm trees. It just feels so beautiful like you can just imagine the warm breeze blowing and that heat of the sunset. So I'm gonna pull back and forth with my brush down below. Again, using both colors, sometimes more of the pink, sometimes a little bit more of the red. Okay, just blend the sides a little bit and then we're gonna pick up some of that red right on the tip of our brush and pull across a wavy line. You can do two or three of these little wavy lines if you like. Then pull into the pink, spread that across. Just want this color to be a little richer. I'm just going to blend it around in some areas where I want it to be a little bit darker and have some more shadows. And then I'm going to pick a little bit more of the red up and add it up in the sky on the left side. Starting from the corner of the canvas, picking up a little bit of pink now. Pull and flick and then wiggle with your brush to create some interesting looking um, clouds. You can make them look a little wiggly on the end by doing that. Now if you don't have a large flat brush like this, you can also use a fan brush. Um, I should demonstrate to you guys how to paint clouds in a sky with a fan brush. It can be really fun and the fan brush is really useful for that. Um, you can also use a filbert brush, it's a really nice one to use. Um, but you see here this flat brush works really, really well. And yeah, so just pull and sweep with your brush, short little strokes wiggling all those little wiggles and scoops and flicks create interesting skies okay we'll wash our brush out completely now i'm going to squeeze out one of my favorite colors um, using golden acrylics today light ultramarine blue i've got my mini fan brush now so i've decided i am going to show you guys a little bit how to paint some clouds and some shadows in the sky using a fan brush. I'm going to go across on the left, on the right for the horizon. I'm not going to go all the way across. I want to leave that little opening there in the middle. Now I'm going to pull it into the sky picking up a little bit of pink sometimes. That'll uh, create some other tones like purples and mauves. And if the paint isn't flowing nicely, you can pick up just a little bit of water. And take some more of that paint, that beautiful blue, add some in the foreground. I want all these colors to tie in together. And I'm going to lay all these colors down here 
and then I'm going to pull and sweep that to make it look like the water is being pulled back into the water. Um, but with this fan brush, you can start pulling and flicking back and forth, kind of uh, make it fan out on an angle on the left and the right, and then right towards you in the middle. This will uh, really help pull our eyes and draw our eyes into the center of the painting. So we'll use the fan brush a little bit for this. And you can use a little bit of water if you need to. Okay, now with a clean brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of that blue, a little bit of pink, and start creating some more wavy lines. And then I'm going to start pulling in that long sweeping motion again. So you'll pull lines across and then you'll pull them the other way. This creates that look of water and that real pull that you get when after a wave comes on shore and then the water gets pulled back in. And you just keep doing this until you achieve the look and the color tones that you like. Um, and sometimes I'm going to take a little bit of the paint off as well so that it makes it look um, like there's a reflection and um, like the sand underneath, there's a bit of sand underneath or maybe the beach is looking a little bit shiny because it's wet. So when you see me later on, start to just scumble the paint off a little bit in lines and then I blend it. That's why I'm doing that, but I'll explain that in a little while. Um, right now I'm going to be adding a little bit more of this beautiful blue up in the sky. Look how that color just pops. It's almost uh, neon. Uh, it's not meant to be, but combined with the right colors in a painting, it will look like it's just kind of popping off the canvas. Uh, it's really pretty with this neon pink as well as that crimson red So you can add a little bit of that pink and red in with the blue at times creating some more shadows and tones Softly blend Some areas you can leave it looking a little bit rougher and then other Areas of the painting you want to give a really blended soft look to it Got quite a bit of pink on my brush now and I'm just going to start adding it right here and flicking soft strokes up giving that some of these clouds a wispy effect so I'll just do this little flicks and softening for a little bit and then I'll get right back into that blue Okay, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of that pink, red, but mostly blue right here. And I'm going to softly flick and blend in to the other colors. You want to flick up towards the top of the canvas, slightly on an angle. And now I'm going to start using the very tip of my brush to get skinnier little lines, some red. Then I'm going to start taking off a little bit of colors. Taking off some paint here and there. It's a great way to get an instant highlight in your painting and it's so much more natural looking. Uh, it's just another alternative and another technique and little tip that you guys may not have seen before. I'm going to be showing you more stuff like this in future videos. Um, when you're scraping it off gently First of all, it won't work unless your paint is still slightly wet. Um, you want to wipe the excess off on a towel nearby, or you can wash your brush off in between, but it's not really necessary. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pink and just add it right here so there's no white showing anywhere on this painting. That makes this a really, really intense uh, seascape and I love that so a lot of people think that they always need to have some white in their paintings to make it work especially for highlights but you really don't um, you just need some light tones and some dark tones and mid tones as well um, so the lightest part of this painting is the areas we're kind of scraping off and it's not the white canvas we're seeing underneath it's just like a really light shade of pink so I'm going to do the same thing down here in the water. 
pulling it off and then flicking really fast to kind of blend it in there so it looks like there's some sand or some shine going on right here on the shore we'll wash our brush out and I'm gonna get my phthalo blue now squeeze a little bit of that out and this will be the darkest part of our painting instead of using black I decided to go with phthalo blue and stick to my color scheme here of red and blue and I'm gonna start painting my little palm trees in silhouette so on an angle you'll have a sweeping palm tree and then you're gonna pull from the center lots of little curvy lines and then flick I'm using my filbert brush today for my palm trees most of the time I use this brush sometimes I will use my mini fan brush as well I've got a whole playlist of tropical paintings and seascapes that I'll leave a link below in the description for you guys and if you want to learn more on how to paint palm trees and beaches and all that kind of stuff then you can click on that link and it'll take you directly to all of those videos so I'm going to add another palm tree right here and then just a little base where these palm trees are growing out of some foliage down here just tapping with a brush a little shadow here on the side and you can mix the phthalo with the red as well to get an even darker color it'll of course make purple and this palm tree is going to be taller and it's going to go off the canvas so you just pull and flick right off the edge and then lots of little flicks for the little leaves on each palm so I'm going to continue to add each leaf the same way and then I will finish with a little baby palm tree in between those two and maybe some more leaves just off the side going off of the canvas okay those two trees look nice I just want to add another little one right in here let's sneak this little one in so pull up kind of in between both of them there and then smaller little flicks for those little palm leaves and don't worry about it being in front or behind it's all in silhouette it doesn't matter so you can just paint right over those tree trunks then I'm gonna add a few leaves coming in from the left side too making us feel like there's just a whole bunch of trees right over there okay I'm gonna finish up these palm leaves and add a little bit of a shadow down here so you can scumble out a little bit of that paint that's left in your brush or if it's too dry add a little bit of water this painting is all finished I really enjoyed sharing this with you guys and painting it you're gonna love using these reds I hope you give it a try like this video comment below I love hearing from you guys and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet I'll see you really soon in my next video bye